with Elbez Strike finally in New Zealand, it's time to create the ultimate fusion deck. Yeah, But I need something to combine them with. Of course, polymerization. Slowly. Slowly. Ah! Oh my god. What have I done? So the Elbez structure deck has finally arrived in New Zealand, bringing with it some awesome reprints, some great new cards of fusion decks, and a well-needed shake-up of the metagame. <laughs> Seriously, Adventure Engine and everything was making tournaments as fun as an adventure to the box factory. What? What do you mean, Adventure Branded is a deck? <coughs> anyway, Cyber Dragon's been one of the most iconic fusion decks in the game, right behind Hero, Shadow, Invoked. Well, you get the idea, but it seemed like a very perfect time to revisit my favorite deck. It's tired eyed and shabby tailed, I hastily built this for Hobby League this week. Cue the deck list. So here we have my hastily thrown together deck list from last week's Hobby League, which was also an Elbow Strike release event. So first up, we got the one Jizukuru, the Star Destroying Kaiju. Only one of the main deck Cyber Dragons here. One Alaba, the Jester of Despia. Two Elbas Nolius Phileas, better known as Fallen of Elbas. One Cyber Dark Chimera. Two Ash Blossoms, I'll get into that why. Three Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Three Cyber Dragon Core. One Despian Tragedy. One Cyber Dragon Naxter. Two Cyber Dragon Hers. Two triple tactical talents, one cyber rev system, one power bond, three branded fusions, three cyber emergencies, three pot of prosperity, one cyber repair plant, three super polymerization, one cyber dark realm, three infinite impermanence, and one cybernetic overflow to make it a nice clean 40. Next up, we've got was that Salaman Great Elmarage? Oh, sorry, mine's in German, so I'm not used to reading it in English. One Thread of Land Verti Anaconda. One Cyber Dragon Seeker. That's it for the links, the rest being fusions. Three Rampage Dragon. Two Rampage Dragon, if you're counting properly. One Chimera Tech Fortress. Two Elbion the Branded Dragons. One Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. One Lubellion the Searing Dragon. One Dragosapalia. One Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, these are mostly there for the Super Poly targets. One Cyber Twin Dragon, one Mirror Jade the Ice Blade Dragon, and one Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon, just to round it off and make it clean 15. Ooh, now a few things that you probably noticed about this deck here. Um, the two Ash Blossoms, I can blame that on my third one just not arriving in the post. There you go, nice and easy. Um, guy was going to drop it off, but it was his birthday, so I wasn't going to bother him too much for it not appearing. Cool, um, three ghost spells. Yep, these perform great. I figured that a lot of people would be on the on the new Elbaz deck stuff, and this stops quite a bit of it. It puts a dent into the Despian Tragedy, it puts a dent into the Branded and Red. Overall good card. Uh, the one Cyber Dragon. Now, I'm, as you can see from the list here, I'm not actually running Machine Duplication. I'm not running Galaxy Soldiers. And I'm only running two Cyber Dragon Hers there, and that's just all for the combo, the one card combo into Albion. Yeah. So you really don't need three of this, especially when people aren't even summoning in the main monster zone anymore. So it's good. And then you just use your Hers to recycle this guy back to your hand or your Naxter just to bring it back just to get two bodies on the board there. Um, I went with the Power Bond engine because I literally didn't know what else to put into the deck. It was either going to be like more hand traps or, you know, have some fusion fun. So we played the Power Bond engine there, which, um, yeah, it was good. Um, added like a nice little bit of extra push, drive, bit of power, if you will. And yeah, a couple with the Cyber Dark Realm. But yeah, overall it performed okay. I'd say very okay. Um, I only really made the Super Polys because I knew it was going to be an Elbaz release deck. Everyone's going to be jumping on Elbaz. So if you know you've got a lot of Elbaz in your meta, Super Poly in the main is... Pretty, pretty, pretty good. But yeah, definitely quite a few changes I would make to this. Quite a few changes I would indeed. 
so um first off let's get rid of some of the crap if you will well not exact crap but you know the inconsistent stuff so chimera has gone realm's gone foul bond's gone yeah i like I like chucking that in the deck every so often, just especially for like hobby leagues or locals or something. It's a lot of fun there, and it can really catch people off guard. Um, impermanence. I think you can go like um. It was fine, but coupled with like branded and red and stuff, like I didn't find impermanence being overall that good. So we're gonna cut this out for now. TTTs. This was just place filler seemed good performed average whatever and um yeah super polys these will be going into the side deck here because i think after the initial hype and the initial week and stuff like we're not going to get too many people playing um albert albert's versions you're probably people going back to their main decks and things but having this as backup ready to go against like sort of any dark decks or anything like that then yeah super poly really good heck maybe if i've even versus the mirror match this would be great fantastic catch them off guard never see it coming but what are we going to do to replace these 11 cards well first off and the first one that we need is ash blossom holy crap do you need this against branded fusion there so yeah we're definitely chucking the third ash blossom we're gonna keep bells as our second hand trap there but i don't think with a deck like side dragon you really need to go further than that a lot of the cards you need to you need are going to be like either power cards or board breaker cards um speaking of board breaker cards we are definitely putting in the droplets there one two three of them um a lot of times i got caught out with the had no way to out the branded and red going into the guardian chimera and if you committed enough to the board one impermanence useless because you've got cards on the field you can't just activate it so yeah you really do need droplets there to sort of turn off that guardian chimera gets too much card advantage for them and it gets also like too much like field destruction plus puts a huge body on the board holy crap so yeah droplets going back in there um something i want to try though something i want to try and i'll get into this why want to chuck back in the cyber dragons and the machine dudes because two three um i was thinking about galaxy soldier but you with between the droplets and everything you really yeah hand is key so these could be easily galaxy soldiers but just keep the one side dragon put the two galaxy soldiers in there and maybe up the hers to three but when you focus with the branded side dragon deck it's going to be resolving branded fusion as much as possible yeah not so good machine dupe just puts like some bodies on the board in attack position very important so you can even if you're not using these two xc's this turn because you activated your branded fusion which locks you into the fusion types you can still just push through damage with a lot of stuff there and then so and then running off the main deck there we've got space for two power cards which i'm opting for lightning storms but and a bit of testing this is all theory at the moment bit of testing here this could easily be cyber load fusion and overload fusion now overload fusion classic cyber dragon card there it's really good for chimera tech rampage dragon just straight up puts a body on the board and you get your dumps multiple attacks it's great um, the only problem is it doesn't do a lot going first, so mm, yeah, in which case, but I mean you can make the argument for Lightning Storm as well. But Cyber Load Fusion, on the other hand, I think the utility of this card has been upped even further, purely because of Albion. Albion banishes the fusion materials when it uses its effect, so being able to go Albion effect into Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, and then ha have Cyber Load Fusion in hand ready to go just to clean up seems good seems very good so with that keep the main deck at 40 cards even the main deck at 40 cards let's tidy this up so now that we don't have the cyber, the super polys anymore we can get rid of the starving venom get rid of the drago septalia and 
I almost want to say Masquerade, but we'll chuck Masquerade down there for now. So now that we're playing the machine dupes as well, we are going to be putting back in one Nova and one Infinity. Only just one of each, only just one of each. You can recur it back with Naxter if one of these gets you, like if they pop your Nova before you can go into Infinity, later on you can go Naxter into Nova, then overlay your Infinity, or if they out your Infinity, like banishing the course before the Naxter, bring back the Infinity. Good. Gives you gives you some recovery plays there. Also as well, another thing, even though this stops you going into Fusion Monsters for the rest of the turn, you can still do your play, go through into Infinity, Verte, send the Branded Fusion, do all that in one turn, because you're not activating Branded Fusion at all, you're activating the effect of Branded Fusion through Verte, so you are still able to go Link Monsters, Exceed Monsters, and climb like that. Also gives you an alternate sort of boss as well, because there were a couple of times, there definitely were a couple of times that I was like, huh, I do not have Branded Fusion, what the hell am I going to do? Because you're almost... In the previous version, you're almost relying that to go off before you can actually do anything, or climbing into Verte and having that set, um, successfully resolved. Here, we've got at least like another out. You've got people in the meta at the moment, and they're going with like dimensional barrier and things like that. That'll lock you out of an entire summoning mechanic. So, yeah, good to have some backup stuff. But, yeah, the. We'll notice that we're at 14 cards in the extra deck. Now, you could easily put the Masquerade back at. Back in there. Because even though we're not playing Super Poly, um, Albaz himself is a Super Poly. So you can still fusion summon one monster from your extra deck using himself and another monster in your opponent's field. So whether that's a light monster here for Albion, a dark monster here for Lubellion, a extra deck monster for Murajade, or a Despia monster, and it says here a light or a dark monster, which Albaz is, it's a dark monster there and you can use Masquerade there. So yeah, that's sort of the th changes that I'd make up. This is what probably I'll be testing something very similar, very, very close to this for Hobby League this week. And I'll come back to you guys and let you know how it's going on. But thanks for joining, joining us today. Sorry, it's not like a winning deck list, but it's just sort of like, you know, thinking, turning the gears, having a go what's going on. The other thing as well that I think you could change just before we go, um, if you don't have Pot of Prosperity or you want to go full power you can go just remove the pots of prosperity here and you can put in some power cards for <laughs> more power anyway guys thanks again for watching stay tuned and hope to bring you some more side dream content real soon catch you later